welcome new subscribers. This is in honor of the new subscribers. Numbers two, three, four, and five. Thank you for subscribing. Hi, Mark here. Just some old fat guy. And uh, today's Saturday, and I started this program Monday. So it's day six of a 12 week program. And I want to talk about what I did right this past week and what I did wrong. And I also want to discuss a little bit about how uh, when you're low on testosterone, how it ages you prematurely. And also, did you know that men with low testosterone um, die from all causes of mortality at a higher rate uh, than men with normal testosterone rates? But first, let's talk about the week in review. So on a scale of five to one, with, um, let's say, Let's say I got five, four, three, two, one, with five being the highest and one being the lowest. Um, I would say this past week, I probably scored a two. And um, the reason for that is I did, was not consistent with the workouts. I only had two days where I did the workouts. Um, I was consistent with the food except for Thursday. Thursday was my wife and I's uh, an wedding anniversary. And so we went out of town and we went to a fancy, fancy restaurant and uh, ordered overpriced food and uh, celebrated. But um, the, uh, the thing is, I started walking and uh, I was consistent for two days and my food was on track most of the days. So that's why I gave myself a two. Um, I also realized this past week that even though I had a plan, it wasn't uh, detailed enough. It wasn't just saying I'm going to work out. Um, I wasn't doing a good workout where I was working my arms, shoulders, and my back, and uh, or my waist, and uh, so. I can acknowledge my own failures and so to correct that starting Monday I'm going to start um, something that was world world known Beachbody um, P90X and I think everybody watching this video right now probably knows what P90X is if you haven't heard of Tony Horton or P90X you're probably watching this from another country and so um, P90X is an exercise program that involves uh, working out to the videos. And because I'm not as strong as I used to be, uh, I'm gonna start off with the modified P90X, which basically means you're not gonna be doing the push-ups 100% like you did, like I could before. I will probably be doing modified push-ups on my knees. Um, the pull-ups, there's an incredible amount of pull-ups with P90X and um, because I've let my muscles degenerate, uh, I've got a pull-up band, I'll be using that to, uh, you put your feet in it and it lightens your load so you're able to do the pull-ups. Interesting thing about pull-ups is um, a few years back when I started doing pull-ups, I, I could do one and uh, I found that the more weight I lost, and the easier it was to do pull-ups. But uh, that and building muscle. And uh, I, I never did become a pull-up king, but I, I think, I, I, if I recall right, I could do 14 uh, consecutive pull-ups. And what I'm talking about is you're free hanging. And then at the free hanging position, you come up, you go all the way down. And then from you start over and that's two and that's three now there's people that think they're doing pull-ups and that they call them chin-ups and that's where you grab from the uh, your grip is like this instead of like this and they'll 
just hit the bar and they'll go one, two, three, four. That's not a pull up. Uh, that's a chin up, but you still need to go fully hanging down and then come all the way up. But in order to achieve that again, I'm going to have to lose quite a few, quite a bit of weight. But that's okay. I need this, um, and I feel like I can do it with the help of uh, testosterone injections because testosterone injections are helping me to realize uh, ambition that was uh, previously buried. And uh, the other thing I want to talk about regarding testosterone and lack of testosterone is old, what I call old man syndrome. And you can get old man syndrome, not just like I'm 63 years old, you can get old man syndrome in your 30s, you can get it in your 40s, you can get it in your 50s. And uh, I'll touch on that right now. So one of the first things that I noticed when the doctors at the VA hospital said, okay, we're not going to give you testosterone anymore, is uh, I went through withdrawal and uh, that, cre that made me depressed and it also was a motivational killer. And so because I wasn't exercising and uh, I was eating more and uh, so I started packing on the pounds. And um, so with old man syndrome, what I noticed is, and what I noticed with old man syndrome is it affects your posture. And uh, pretty soon, you're walking like this, okay? And you're, you're bent over, and uh, it feels more comfortable to walk bent over than it does to stand up straight and walk erect. And you walk erect when you have high testosterone levels or normal testosterone levels. When you have low testosterone levels, you're, it affects your posture. And uh, it's, I don't, it could be psychological. I know that testosterone helps to make your bones stronger. But if you see guys walking and, not, and old, old men, I guarantee you, older men that are walking stooped over, they've got a testosterone issue. They've got low testosterone. If they got their testosterone levels back up, elevated a little bit higher, instead of walking like this, They'd be walking straight. Their shoulders would be back, their head would be high. And so, so testosterone helps you to walk with your shoulders back and your head held high. That's, that's a fact. The other thing I noticed in the past four years is uh, when my testosterone dropped, and uh, it dropped extremely low, uh, um, was I was starting to shuffle. And how many old guys do you know that shuffle their feet? And that also is symptomatic of health, bad health issues, but that's also low testosterone. You get their testosterone back up and they stop shuffling, they stand erect, they start feeling like a man, they start acting like a man. So anyway, that's all I got for this video. Um, tomorrow is tea day. And uh, I'll discuss more about tea day tomorrow. So. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my new subscribers. Um, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing because this is going to be about this old man's journey. I'm just some old fat guy. And um, I'm going to change the status quo. I'm going to go from being some old fat guy to a lean, muscular, let's knock on wood, uh, old guy, okay? But uh, I know I can make it happen, you know. It's, it's a matter of planning and then following through, following through with that plan. Because, you know the old saying, uh, those who fail to plan, plan to fail. Well, you've got to have a plan in order to succeed. So, this is Mark. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.